All right, got the Makita out. As you can see, it's wet grass here. We're gonna see how she does in the wet, thick stuff against, I mean, plants. We're gonna chop down some plants. There in the lion, tall grass. I'm gonna show you the property here. And we're gonna see if two five amp hour batteries can finish this small, well, it's not small, this property. I would say it's uh, probably a third, quarter to a third. But again, you gotta match it up so I don't have complete, perfect dimensions. But the grass, obviously, very tall. A lot of weeds, a lot of weeds. Beautiful plant here. And then we got this dog pen here. So this is around, you know, 20 by seven. And then we got a pretty decent sized yard here. It's actually two yards. All right, we're gonna go here now too. All right, so a pretty big yard here. Again, um, I believe you can still get two free five amp hour batteries with this mower. I mean, wow. Areas where it's over a foot tall and it's wet. But let's see what she can do here. But um, like I said, I think you can still get two free five amp hour batteries, so. You know, you got two charging, I believe 30 to 40 minutes to charge of two fives. Um, so pretty much you can switch out. Oh wow, pretty, pretty long here. All right, so let's see what the Makita 18 volt X2 36 volt lawnmower. If we can uh, chop this down and finish this property. So I took it right down, as you can see. Think and cut, man. But to be honest with you guys, I haven't really seen a lithium ion mower yet that hasn't been able to cut pretty good. But um, this thing definitely leaves one of the better cuts of them all. We'll do some more. How about we take down that little... Just cut down a pretty large weed there. All right, let's keep going. All right, did the whole back and the side yard. I checked around a minute ago. I still had two bars left. 
Uh, but you gotta remember guys, this is a lot of weeds, um, tall grass. Like I said, we're gonna do it on a nice manicured lawn. And uh, we'll see how she does time-wise there. Where I'm only taking, you know, an inch or two off. Um, <coughs> um, you know, taking down a foot. Now, even though it's really a lot of weed, um, it's very, it's, we had a lot of rain here. And actually before I got here, it was drizzling a little bit. But I thought I'd bring you along here. And we'll do this part kind of live because this is probably the thickest grass and this will finish let's see what we got here yeah I still got two I mean the runtime is really incredible um, you know the one thing guys if they ever come out with a 9 amp hour battery and you gotta remember they do have sixes so if you have sixes you're gonna do a little bit better obviously um, but you gotta remember you're only buying this mower if you're in Makita's platform. Just like, you know, the DeWalt mower. Um, you're really not going to stretch and not be in any platform and buy a mower, most likely. All right? I'm not going to say everybody. But I can tell you one thing that I don't like. All right? This handle. Now, with the DeWalt, it completely... Um, Yeah, sorry if I got cut off there real quick. But the one thing that I don't like about this mower is, again, if you heard me talk about this in the comments, I think they really geared this towards the contractor who's on the job site that wants to cut the grass really low because of time constraints. Uh, but what this mower is also good for, I'm telling you, if you have a lot of weeds, you know, instead of, you know, lugging around a weed whacker, this is a great, uh, this can save you a lot of time and make it a lot easier because this, this thing can really, you know, take down um, a lot of different types of, of weeds. You know, obviously I'm cutting over a foot here. Again, it's really hard to tell with the camera. Um, but, you know, it, it's, it's a good time saver to clear a large area of brush weeds and stuff like that. Um, but, like I said, I think they geared us towards the contractor. But I want to say one thing. The DeWalt handle, much better folds really down makes it really compact this is the size of this mower so i mean if i wanted to kind of break this take these wing nuts loosen them and kind of do that but it's not that easy to do that not like the dewalt so let's uh continue here took this grass down pretty nice here again it's wet might be hard for you to kind of tell through here but you know this is how tall the grass is I'll try to do this area right now real thick stuff over here Look at this over here. All right, so we, it cut it right down there. Obviously, I'm gonna have enough power to finish this lot here. Still got two bars. All I gotta do is this area, even though it's tall grass, not a big deal. Um, Again, we'll have another video on this, but you can, you know, they designed this to get beat up, guys. You got a steel deck. Um, you know, the cut height is the one issue. A lot of people, they kind of, you got to remember, they have two mowers, guys. They have this mower, and they have in a 16-inch with a plastic deck, all right? I, I, I think that's really geared towards the DIY, uh, you know, residential customer. Um, and this is really for the, you know 
contractor, lawn care professional. Um, so, you know, this is definitely an upgrade. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, would it cut in that short? You really got to be aware of, you know, what area you're in because, you know, it cuts just around three inches. So in certain areas, that's a little too short. Um, you know, two and 13 sixteenths, you know, just about three inches there. So, um, but again, great cutting lawnmower, guys. It's definitely the best one um, cutting wise. What it's been, what the, 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 the finished cut, this is the best mower that I've used lithium ion and quite possibly gas uh, that that's you know some people might get a little upset by that but um, it leaves a really nice cut um, but the DeWalt might be a better option for you you know it is you know 150 to 200 dollars cheaper so like I said it's all going to depend on what platform you're in if you're in uh, you know DeWalt's platform it doesn't really make sense to buy this mower uh, if you're in DeWalt's platform you know you might not want to buy this one but they're both good options. Obviously, Ryobi has a good 40-volt uh, mower. And their 18-volt they're eight, they're mower, though really not built that well, can, can cut grass. Um, you know, we obviously know about Ego and their 56-volt line. Uh, you know, a lot of, you get a little bit more for your money. Uh, you know, you can get self-propelled um, about the same price as this. But if you're looking for a tough mower that's going to last you, uh, the Makita right here, Definitely a good option. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Flip, flip.